Search all techniques. This podcast is at the intermediate level. It requires some knowledge of Accordance Bible software, but no knowledge of Hebrew or Greek. Earlier this year, we produced a podcast on Accordance 9's Improved Search All, number 41. We were only able to cover the basics and thought you might enjoy learning a few advanced techniques for this feature. Before you view this podcast, though, please view podcast number 41 and make sure you have Accordance 9.1.1 installed. Today, we'll look at three different search all techniques, finding an obscure phrase, comparing English translations, and locating graphics. Finding an obscure phrase. Ever remember a phrase from the Bible but not where it's from or what translation it's in? It's more common than you'd think, especially in these days of multiple translations. Well, Accordance has a solution for that. Begin by opening a new search all window. This is different from just amplifying to search all on the resource palette. Many users don't realize they can do this from the file menu. Or just by typing Control command f Think Find if it will help you remember it. If you dismiss your default text, you'll have a window that looks like this. Search all windows contain two pop-up menus. The field menu, which allows users to choose one of three different languages, the reference or the caption, and the search all group. For now, we'll choose English as the search field. If you have a simple accordance setup with mostly English Bibles, choose all text as the search group. However, if you have a lot of texts, you'll save time by making a custom group of your favorite English Bibles, as I've done here. Once the library is updated, you'll see that group listed among your search all groups. Now, simply type the phrase you remember and click search. If it doesn't appear, try a fuzzy search, which will allow one or more words to vary so long as they are in the same order. Here you can see this user mingled translations, using the plural flocks from the NIV, but remembering the prepositional phrase by night of the KJV and some other translations. Comparing English translations. This same search all window can also be used to compare English translations. Just change the field to reference and then enter the verse reference into the search entry box. However, it's far more likely a user will be doing this from a text window. In that case, we need to select the verse reference and amplify to the all text search group on the resource palette. Once the search all window appears, shift click to see all the passages in the search results pane. Here, the top three passages are the Hebrew Bible, the Septuagint, and the English Standard Version. If we dismiss our default text, we'll have a window that looks like this. Notice we can use command click to choose which passages to see and that they do not have to be contiguous. Locating graphics. This latest rev of accordance offers a new standard search all group, graphics tools. It's a list of all of our graphics rich modules. So when we amplify from a word to this group, accordance automatically searches any of these modules it finds installed on our computer. This method will find every mention of the word in these modules, not just the graphics. That's because it searches every English language field. For a more focused search, we can try searching this group directly. Open a new search all window and select the caption field and the graphics tools group. Now we type the search word or phrase and click search. Not all of our modules have a caption field, adding it as part of our ongoing module upgrade program. However, the results from those modules that do have it are frequently spectacular. Now, let's try some of these search all techniques for ourselves in accordance. I'm convinced most users simply amplify to search all something like this. They select a word, go down to search all, and simply select, as in this case, oh, why not, English Bibles. And up pops all of the references to Shepherd in their English Bibles. However, Using a search all window to initiate the search is much more powerful. How do you do it? You simply type Control Command F, like so. Let me get rid of this default text window and you can see what I mean. It's so much more powerful this way because we have access to all the wildcard symbols that we normally use as well as all the different commands. 
For instance, if one doesn't know which English translations use the word magi, it's going to be difficult to amplify from that word. Here I can just type it in. I select English for my field. I make sure I've select my English Bibles group and I go ahead and click search. And I find that both the New American Standard and the NIV use the word magi. Now that I can see that it's in Matthew 2.1, I can change to a reference field and say, well, I wonder what other translations use. I type in the reference, and here are all of my English Bibles. And you can see some use wise men and some use magi. The same is true for a non-biblical word like Hanukkah. Once again, I'll shift to English, and in this case, I'm not going to amplify to my Bibles. I'm going to actually look them up in all of my tools. I want to see what relevant articles are available. And you can see there's quite an array of different articles available in these various tools. Now, if I'm looking for graphics, for instance, let's say that I want to look up the word sheep. I simply search my graphics tools, and if I want to be really precise, I can select the caption field, search those graphic tools like this, and once I find a likely looking suspect, for instance, the Zondervan International Bible Background Commentary of the Old Testament, I'll just double click that. And then I can actually page through those articles mark by mark. If I find a particular article that I like, like this one, let's say, I can say, well, I'd like to see that one. And if I decide that that particular photograph is good, matter of fact, let me just move that over here so I can see it a little bit better. I'll click off the recycling button and I continue cycling through the various hits in order to find different slides that will fit my needs. Oh, there's another one. One point I ought to make here, and that is that generally the caption follows the photograph. Since the caption heading appears at the top of the page, generally you have to scroll upward just a bit in order to get that photograph. And there we have it. I trust these search all tips will improve your Bible study. This podcast is part of our ongoing free training program here at Accordance. Just another way we serve our users after their purchase. Let me remind you that we also offer special sales each month. You can always find them on our website, accordancebible.com. This has been Dr. J for Accordance Bible Software. Thank you for watching this episode of Lighting the Lamp. Thank you.